Thanks for tuning into my channel. I am Taprina. Let's get right into it. First, I'm starting with some primer. I got with a uh, Birch Box, that monthly box by Laura Geller. It has like a golden, bronzy kind of feel to it. I love it because it you can wear it without makeup. Just wear it and go. Um, so it'll have like a natural glow to your face. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it. Okay, next I'm going to show you some products, um, mostly Maybelline for my foundation, number 310. Got some um, CoverGirl CC Cream. It's good to even your skin tone. I don't even think I used it. Um, I like to use this matte uh, by Ramel. It's really good. I like it because it has like a dry texture. We have a palette, um, powder palette. It's really good for contouring for me, like for your cheeks and then, you know, the perimeter of your forehead and the side of your face. And that's just where I put the makeup at. And I'm going to start with the sand color for concealer around my eyes, um, forehead, around the eyebrows, underneath the nose. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm going to start off with the eyebrows, just going to set them. I'm just brushing them down first, and I believe I'm going to use the eyebrow liner that I got from eBay like 79 cents I'm just gonna outline my eyebrows there and then I'm gonna go back in and fill them Okay, as you can see now, I'm about to go back and fill in. And now I'm showing you the brush, the uh, eyebrow liner I just used. Uh, it's just number one. Always make sure you're using the right color for your eyebrows. Like for instance, my eyebrows are already super black. So I'm gonna continue using that so it'll look more natural. You don't wanna have two different colors on your eyebrows. You wanna always make your eyebrows look as pure and as natural as you can, okay? Okay, so now I'm just going back in with a little uh, the powder for my eyebrows, just um, cleaning them up or filling in where I I was not able to completely fill in with the uh, eyebrow liner. Okay, now I'm using uh, the smaller brush um, to clean up my eyebrows with, to go underneath and above. Um, what I'm using on it is the concealer or the foundation. And it just glides on so easily. Like it's easy cleanup, it's easy blending after you've uh, done this. You always want to make sure you're blending really good if you're going underneath and above your eyebrows you know to clean it up and stuff you don't want it to look uh, like that is exactly what you did so 
you want to make sure you're blending really good and you're using the colors that are good for your skin tone like never I, I, I always try to get a color that's a pinch lighter than me and a pinch darker than me for my um, for to contour and then for my foundation I'm here unfortunately I have a little bit of a tan so it, sometimes it's hard to differentiate uh, the colors now so um, just sometimes I gotta play it by as I see it instead of like picking out the right colors sometimes you just never know Okay, now I am adding concealer underneath my eyes. The girl don't want to look like a bag lady. Okay, um, now I'm adding, uh, I'm contouring right now. Just adding that darker tone so you can get that finished look, feel. So I'm just um, doing my cheeks right now, each cheek. You want to make sure you get at least all the way almost um, until you get to the hairline. You don't want it to stop like... You, you don't want to have like a half inch of space of nothing there and then you have your hairline. You want everything to look natural. You want everything to look flowing and beautiful, okay? Now, this is the important part. You want to make sure you're contouring your nose as well. Your nose is very important because it's the center of your face. It should look at its best, right? You can't do your face and then not do your nose. So now we're um, contouring the nose. Just as you would contour the perimeter of your face, you're just using the same color. And you're going to go from the eyebrow, from, the, from right underneath the eyebrow where the nose um, starts. And then you go down. You make a loop right underneath the tip of it. Gotta go back around and stop where you started on the other side of the nose. After that, you're gonna go back in and blend, blend, blend. Okay, you guys, I'm just going back in again to re-blend um, under and over my eyebrow. I just want my eyebrows to really look great and pop today. So I'm just going to put a little bit of more TLC on that, put a little stank on the eyebrow so I can, you know, make it look amazing. And so I'm just continuing my blending up, up there. Just want it all to look together. Okay guys, I'm just going back in to re-blend the very beginning of my eyebrows. I want them to look very natural. And so in order to do that, I have to go back and make sure that it doesn't look too created at the beginning of them. So you always want to make sure the beginning of the eyebrow looks very, very natural to give off the natural look that they're all yours, right? Okay. 
Okay, you guys, right now, just as the nose, when you contour, sometimes you go over the concealer at the top. It's the same thing for your cheeks as well. So I'm going back in to clean up my contouring. I'm just going to add some concealer right underneath my uh, contour on my cheeks and blend that out so it looks really natural. Okay. Okay, you guys, here is the finished look for my 4th of July um, makeup. Nothing major, but uh, as you can see, I used uh, eyeshadow I did not post. Also, I did some eyeliner I did not post as well, but I will leave all the product information at the bottom of this vlog. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will post pictures at the end. To show you with some family you know how it looks with a flash on um thank you again guys if you like what you see please subscribe below hit that thumbs up thanks so much you guys bye Thank you.